Simon, you're, you're of the opinion that Alonso was never a shoo-in for Liverpool. Um, I've seen quite a number of Liverpool fans reacting now that Xabi Alonso has discounted himself. He's counted himself out of being in the race to take over from Klopp. Uh, he stays with Bayer Leverkusen and hopes to take them into the Champions League next season. In, in your view, he was never really well, I numero said, uno I candidate. I said at the time, I was just curious to see who had made this conclusion. Like the days I'd listen to everyone suggesting that Lionel Messi would be leaving categorically, no two ways about it. And no, he didn't. Ownership punditry now, is it? So no, you, you, not, you were I, the only one who said that it was. No, a I'm not. I'm not suggesting that. I'm saying that I said it. I don't know who else said it. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Say. I'm more interested in what I have to say. Of course. Um, so with that in mind, I had made an observation at the time. Well, who's concluded this? And on what basis? And have we got any official understanding of where this comes from besides a rumour mill of someone that knew somebody that knew somebody that was related like to someone that sold a hot dog to someone three years ago? Uh, and that was the reasons why that ultimately Alonso was going to it. So I think it's appropriate to question this sort of, sort, of, sort of assuredness in certain sections of the media that this is now the way it's going to go. And most of the time, it isn't. Yeah, yeah. Alonso himself has been quite cute about it. Well, Alonso was asked a question. What do you yeah. expect him to say? You ask him a question in 2018. This is a football club, a great football club that you once played for. Would you like to manage it? No, it's a crap club. Never want to go there. Yeah. Of course he's going to turn around and say, as a clever individual, which clearly he is, he's going to turn around and say, you never know, our palms may cross, which is what he said. The odds will now shorten on Deserby getting a job, but you, 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 you're not having him at this particular time. I don't know. But, you know of course what will happen is... is if, Village idiot Brighton fans will draw the conclusion that because it's Brighton and I'm a former Crystal Palace associated person that I've got some problem with Zerbi because he's managing Brighton. I dislike the attitude that I see from him sometimes. I just smell something that I don't like and I think, ooh, I think you're a really good manager and I think you're really capable, but I'm not sure Is you're going to be emotional. Really... Is he too emotional? I, I think he's going to be a handful. I think he's got tickets on himself and I think he'll be a handful. And I think when you come out after a game against Roma where you've got spanked and you talk about a chairman like Tony Bloom as suggesting that ultimately the club needs to have learnt lessons, yeah, you have that conversation with your chairman. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely have that conversation. Nothing wrong with that conversation. Chairman, we really need to be in a better position. We're going to commit. You don't do it through the media. Why'd you do that? Mm. What's that point then? Is that respectful? Is that is that what's that about? That's about you and something that you yeah, but want ambitious, to put yourself. Isn't it? He's just emotional Not, and he's out. A bit no, out, it's maybe a, a bit no, outspoken. No, 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 no. You can make a whole raft of other excuses. You can turn around and say that we've been outclassed, we're outplayed in one game, and ultimately this is the experienced curve that we're on. No one would have any problem with that. And everyone would say, well, it's fair enough. Brighton haven't been in, in European competition ever before. Yeah. But that's not what he said. I don't think Matthew's an Arsenal fan. Good afternoon, Jim. The irony of Kieran talking about fair play and sportsmanship. You couldn't make it up. <laughs> I mean, that, that's not fair, Martin, is it? Well, you want to have a look at how many games I've played. And people want to point to two or three incidences in my career. Yeah. What was that? What did I play? 850 matches? 43 internationals. Um, and if you if you're going you're going to have there is to, a proven there's going to have to be trouble there. But there eventually. is a proven case of bias on your part, though, isn't there? I mean, we have seen that evidence itself. We've seen. Are you we going to troll? Are we going to troll no, 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 back? No, no. You need to own the things that you do. A cheap I get, shot. I have to own the things that I do. So that, so people when they say, "Oh, Kieran, so biased," but to take there is a, there is a trail there. Well said. No, well no, no. Said. That was just that was just a, you red that, card that was mind. Arsenal going into battle with Spurs, and I wasn't going to pull back from this young group. But you weren't they don't need to write, my support now. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. National they, newspaper. They moved it on now to challenge Man City, not just Spurs. Okay. Yeah, well said. How many times has he been sent off? How many times have you sent off? I think it's seven. Seven. Okay. Well, you got the fa you're looking at your phone there. I assumed you knew the facts. <laughs> no, well, no, you I'm just checking when I've got a dental appointment next week. Bristol City against Leicester kicks off in uh, a couple of minutes. We're right across it. Championship action right through the afternoon, and you can catch a lot on Talk Sport. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.